you're saying, I am, that the universes are fractal in nature and that everything is embedded in each other. Okay, well that means that the Earth is spinning around the Sun at a certain speed, the Sun is spinning around the galaxy at a certain speed, which is, I think, like, I can't remember. Uh, and then the galaxy is moving through the cluster, and then the cluster is moving through the universe. If you add those speeds, right, and there's a universe within a universe within a universe, that means that eventually you reach a speed of light for everything. See what I'm saying? So yeah, I am saying that. I am saying that everything is moving at the speed of light, and that's why there is that special relativity thing in which light appeared to move at a constant speed in all directions, <laughs> okay, from a point of observation, right? It's because that we are actually, you are right now moving at the speed of light. I'll give you an example. So, so then you're going to say, well, what the heck is movement then? What, what are you talking about, right? Well, I'll give you the example why we're confused about this. Because we think movement exists, and it doesn't. <laughs> if everything is embedded in each other, movement doesn't exist. All you got is fluctuations. So you look at your hand, and you say, my hand leaves point A and goes here, point B, right? And it's got linear motion from here to there. But if you actually look carefully with the quantum eye, and you went in there in the small particles, actually your hand didn't do any of that. In fact, your hand deconstructed itself and reconstructed itself and deconstructed itself and reconstructed itself. And it's happening so fast that you can't tell. And your intent is making it reconstruct in the vacuum at the right place. Because you're moving billions of atoms, right? Billions of atoms. There was researchers, you know, I don't mean, I mean, there was researchers that were talking to me about studies that were made about measuring intent. I'm like looking at them going, What's this? <laughs> I'm moving billions of atoms with my intent. You think that's cool? You know, so like, what, you know, that's, you know, let's get beyond that and like realize like that's happening and movement is just a concept. It's like a movie, right? In a movie, you only see, frame. you don't know if you don't have the movie stop that there's frames, no frame, frame, no frame, no frame, no frame, right? But it looks continuous to you, and you would think that's movement, right? But there's no such thing. There's just construction, deconstruction, construction, deconstruction, quantum leaping everything across space-time structure. I mean, what I was saying on movement, for instance, to realize that, you know, dancers and so on, to like, to realize like the miracle of you doing this. I mean, whoa, you know, I, it's an amazing thing. Because everything is spinning everywhere, and you're embedded in it, and you're moving at incredible speeds. And, and so, you know, you're actually ultimately absolutely still in every moment. And each of these moments are piled up so that you think that there is a linear function to it.